Teacher of the Year, honored by both the uh, VFW Post 101.94, the uh, Post in Grass Lake, and also the VFW District Teacher of the Year, Northwest High School teacher, Nick Gaffney. Hi, Nick. Hi, Bart. Good to see you. Good to see you. Yeah, and congratulations. Thank you. That's awesome. So I, uh, I'm not sure I got the post number right, but VFW Post 10194. That's right. Yep, in Grass Lake, a very active post. They've been the, the post of the year uh, for Jackson County veterans, uh, very active uh, members. And they, every year, uh, choose a Teacher of the Year. And I think they do uh, high school and elementary. And middle. And yep. middle. So we've got um, high school teacher, Nick, and then we've also got, I think from our area, we got um, the middle school teacher, Jamie uh, Isham, and she, Jamie teaches at Springport. And so awesome, congratulations. So you, Thank you. the local and the district. So are you a, a veteran as well? I am. I'm a 14 year veteran of the U.S. Army and U.S. Army Reserves. Well, thank you for your service. Hey, thank you for saying that. That's we appreciate awesome. it. So uh, when you were in the service, uh, did you know you wanted to be a teacher? No, <laughs> no, being a teacher kind of came out of the blue. Uh, I, I've always known that I liked helping others learn new concepts. And I guess that should have been an obvious indicator of, hey, you might be a teacher one day, but no, being a teacher was nowhere in my sight line at the time. Well, the reason uh, that you were selected is uh, excellent performance as an educator. They evaluated you. And they also took a look at uh, some things that the VFW uh, thought was important to, to them as an organization, and that was inclusion of patriotic themes and mm -hmm. activities in your coursework. How important is that to you? It's incredibly important because I believe it lends a voice to our veterans by helping my students understand their stories. Um, it speaks to our American history, which even though I'm an English teacher, I th still think that's important. They're the stories of our history. So it's incredibly important. Now, as an English teacher, I would expect that having those themes in coursework would be easier if you're teaching history, but how do you work it into English? Well, I like to build my students' uh, critical thinking skills. Mm -hmm. You know, have them make connections between seemingly unrelated ideas. So in fact, tomorrow my students are going, we're reading a book called The House on Mango Street, which is about a 12 or 13 year old Hispanic girl in Chicago. Now you would think she has nothing to do with the army, but tomorrow I'm gonna to show my students the story of Marcus Luttrell and Operation Red Wings, and they're gonna learn how to make connections of maybe there's a common theme of resilience, you know, or other similar themes, and they're gonna to learn to make connections from what we read in the classroom to what's really going on in our world. So I like to build that. It not only builds their critical thinking skills, it gets them involved in the book, and it exposes them to some of our history. It's interesting that you say that. I know teachers that they try to wall off what's happening in the world <laughs> with the education experience. You are, are bringing that in. As often as I can. Yeah. Oh, we have some photos of the uh, awards uh, being presented. Here we have, is that? That's the post. Okay, so that's Dan Todd. That is. Longtime viewer here at GTV, Dan Todd, and a great, uh, a great veteran as well, presenting the award. Now this is up in Neaton Rapids? Uh, the, yes. Mason, Mason. Mason at District 6. Cool. And I believe this must be Jamie. Yeah, from Springport, the yeah. middle school teacher of the year. Yep, that's both of us there. Way to go. Congratulations. Thank you. It's an honor. Yes, have you told your students about this? <laughs> no, I, I <laughs> did tell my journalism students today because, to be frank, I was a little nervous coming and I said, well, <laughs> let's build y'all's interview skills and y'all are going to interview me today. So I, I had them line up and kind of grill me with questions on the spot, so. 
our they viewers, know. Yeah, our viewers might be picking up a little bit of uh, the South uh, out of <laughs> out of Nick. You're you're not uh, originally from here. No, I'm not a Michigan native. I was mostly grew up in Georgia. So. And the, the military and uh, life got you here. <laughs> the military and life yeah. got me here. Yep, but I love it here. Uh, tell me a little bit about uh, life outside the classroom. Life outside the classroom. I have a wonderful wife named Abby. Uh, we have two dogs together, Kevin Bacon, who's a Husky <laughs> lab mix, just love him, and Gravy, who was adopted from a rescue organization a couple of years ago. She's a little pit mix, and it's just the four of us here in Jackson, and we love it. Bacon and Gravy. Ba bacon and Gravy, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Well, awesome. Your students um, interested in journalism, are you... Uh, able to um, help with uh, career guidance as an English teacher? Absolutely. Um, I've, I draw on all my experiences of my work history, not just the English teacher side, but uh, military side, where we do a lot of technical writing. And prior to that, I was in the hotel management, where you uh, obviously have to have great articulation mm -hmm. skills and writing skills. And I kind of guide them that, hey, y'all can take your writing anywhere. You know? and, I, and I wonder about that because journalism is uh, a threatened uh, profession um, these days. Mm -hmm. And I wonder what kind of attitude kids have about it. And, and what, what are you thinking as far as that as an op op option for students? I still think it's a viable option. The world, the world needs to be reported on. Now, I think the methods might change and the direction of it might change. But these are smart kids that they can go with the flow. And as long as they have those basic skills of writing and reporting, that's always gonna be needed. A lot of writing by uh, young people is uh, via text and in, in, in shorthand. Is that, uh, is, is that presenting challenges to an English teacher? Of course, of course. <laughs> I, I get the essays and I say, guys, later isn't spelled L-8-R, you know? but. <laughs> Yeah, you make the correction and you say, listen, we have to, in academic essays, you write formally and so you spell everything out. You don't use the shorthand text, of course. And, you know, a reminder once or twice throughout the year and they get it. Cool. Well, we're really uh, grateful for you to come in today. Yeah, thank you for having me. And to the VFW for presenting Nick with the uh, honor and sharing that news with us. Well, thanks for your service. <laughs> thank you. And congratulations. Thank you. The uh, VFW Post and District High School Teacher of the Year from Northwest High School, Nick Gaffney. There you go. All right. Uh, 